Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. And yes, this is the view from the top of the church steeple. Just in case you ever wanted to know. <laughs> so if you were a couple of 12-year-old boys who decided they were going to climb that thing just for fun, this is what they would see. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is also kind of Hotfix 3. At least the game is functioning properly. But I am going to hold off on turning the the fishing docks back on and the... That's you? Yeah, the cart shed's back on for one more episode. I'm going to wait for you guys to, at least those of you who are playing the game or watching somebody else who is playing that, that new version, to let me know whether or not we have fixed this problem, there was a fishing problem and there was a cart shed problem or possibly several but did not create three other problems which hot fixes can tend to do. So I'm going to protect my series save a little bit longer. So next time if, if, if the comments look positive we'll turn everything back on again and see how it works. But I'm not going to use this series as a guinea pig in case there was another issue that came up as a result. Otherwise, we're in June. We are, what, 24 years into the town. And we are two weeks away from the orchards starting to function again. We are building something that I put in after the episode. And someone wrote in and suggested this too. There was just enough room just enough to squeeze an arch right there and that would make it look good and it would also allow us to put another uh, one of these fences right here and shoot across if we wanted to add one more building so it could even go with I don't know maybe another three story just to give it a little bit of randomness and actually I'm just noticing right now the three story peaks over the top of the other ones that's kind of nice yeah, so maybe there'll be one more right here to accommodate or complement the two that are back there. I'm not sure. What happens after that, I don't know. So the road's going to head this way. There'll be a fence. I can almost put that in now, but let's wait till it comes in. A fence that comes out across here a little further, so it, it'll promote the uh, the road. And I got to thinking about this. I don't know if I really want to tear it down now, because I've invested so much into it, but... There really is nothing else to do out here other than put trees in. Well, arch is done. This almost could have curved out a little bit and just made an arc with the fencing a little bit. You know, put this guy right here. This guy maybe at an angle heading for that corner. So we could have had more of a courtyard out here since we're not really using this space. Didn't really think about that at the time, but um, yeah, we'll see. I, I can always change that later. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> uh, stone well. Okay. So, wait, where's that stone well? You're right there. That's where I put them. Okay. So, putting a stone well there and there. I thought, of, thought about doing that instead of up against the fence. Uh, maybe that's strange looking or not. I don't know. It just kind of blends in. So, you hardly even, hardly even see it. I had to go searching for it. But with that, we can get this one to go away because the fence is going to go right through that so you go away right after that then we move into this school's a tree gone tree is gone so they'll start bringing over actually not a lot of material so there is 20,000 wood how much wood is sitting over here in the island just out of curiosity you have got 7,000 and you have got 6,000 so it's 13,000 wood over here already okay you guys theoretically are taking down trees in there and i think you're bringing one back right now so you're kind of cleaning this area out i'm thinking i started right here i think so moving this little this little road more in line with the uh, with the the bridge to bring it up through here but yeah i think it would look good to have the road in fact let's just out of curiosity lay that out um any fence go from here let's get to where I can see too long okay yeah kind of hard to see it that way let's do it this way so if you vertical with my screen come down like so ok 
Okay. So, all right, pull away. You go away. And actually, I needed a fifth one to do that, right? <clears throat> Let's do that again. You, which one did I use? I think I used number two, but we'll stick number three in here just for, just for fun. You're coming down through here. Let's get out over here. Yeah, just kind of pop you there, 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 and there. And then snap you to there and go to there. Okay. So with that, I can pull you out. Does that work? Yeah. And... Boy, it's hard to grab these. Am I running? I'm running. There you are. You're the keeper. You're the tosser. And we're doing a lot of staggering. So I've worried about what happens after a hot fix. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of staggering. This game is, is not running like it did last episode. So there's always a possibility something's going to go wrong right now. So I just have to be aware of that. But this lets me see the... Uh, the Let's see, snap to you. The two roads and how we can make them interact. So let's pop you in there and another one off into there. Okay. So you... the Deleting the fence is what caused it to... Yeah, right. Right now I can't move. I'm, I'm frozen. Yeah. Something else is going on here. So there may be a hotfix 4 coming soon. <laughs> so there's the two road alignments. And I was wondering if we could get a building in, in between somehow, so that the roads would come over across the top of the building and below the building. So we may somehow shift this up a little bit higher and shift this down a little bit lower, maybe, and leave a row of buildings in between so that you almost don't notice that there is a, an alignment problem because there'll be buildings kind of right in the line of sight. So I was thinking about that. It's not as extreme as, I th as I'd hoped it would be. If this had come in over here and came in above, then it would work great. Anyway, just kind of thinking long term here. But yeah, there's a lot of staggering in the... Uh, in the game when I was deleting those so something that fixed these two things altered something else and that's just kind of how it works with with a complicated game code I mean there's so many pathways that the uh, the game is taking simultaneously you never know when you change one line how it's gonna affect something 2,000 lines later yeah so anyway so we've got this in we've got wells in we got well out okay can't do anything while this stuff's here so let's get go ahead and get rid of it make empty and make empty okay no nails over there and next is this guy so we're starting to bring the materials over there we're in june still okay and were there any trades going on i don't remember now Nope, nothing nothing on the map, so everything is caught up. Okay. Now, we left this one undone last time, and comment came in that this actually would be kind of an interesting area to put a little public triangle and seating and, and shade trees and what have you. A little more complex than this, maybe. So, let's design this last house in this area to accommodate that. You're there, spin you around a little bit more, and I think you're already grabbed there. Click, you, you move over. So this one, then the idea was that it would actually travel down like so. Let's see how that works. I can go to about there. Uh, let's just move the house so it gets rid of telling us, giving us an angry message. How far this way and how far that way? So you... Probably like so. Why would you not grab? There you go. So what does that actually do? Should it track right here? Or should it curve off into a distance? From down here, as far as this road goes. My first thought was that it was parallel to the barber surgery, which would put it over here. But it doesn't have to be. It could head all the way over to there if we want and just make a curved road through here for that matter this could almost come down a little further and shoot into there if we wanted to 
almost get two of them in there, huh? Hadn't thought of that. We could put that right there and give us a little more of a curve. So you could come up just a little bit. You're back in here. And then another one that comes down at an angle and heads further into here. How far can you go now? You can actually go quite a ways. So can you go further? No, you're kind of there. Okay. So this parallel with that. So wherever this lands is what dictates down there. Okay. Hmm. One property left or squeeze one more in? We have a road forming with this. So this needs to go to there. So starting from here is going to look odd. It will. I think we're stuck going all the way to here. It's just a matter of where this lands. About that far away from the barber surgery. And right on the corner, where does it come up? Let's go with there. We'll have lots of room to do something over here. Now what does this guy do? Too long is all the way down there now. Parallel with the barber surgery is probably about there. I kind of want to head to this guy. So a pathway that tracks right into the corner of the field there. Okay. Now you can go further. That looks pretty good. Heading into that corner. Something else goes here. I don't know what. Nice road here. Something in there. I can't think right now what that would be other than just more seating. But it's not really a natural place for seating. Whereas this would be. Kind of a little community area. Hmm. This may end up being something like that too. If not, what happens here? Do we need to leave space for anything? This comes out. That's a blacksmith. I don't know. Nothing is flagging my attention right now. Maybe a couple of just normal houses. Or tiny yard houses. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. So is that the answer? That gives us... A little less triangle than we could have had, but it, it cleans up nicely to the corner of this building. And we come out to the corner over here, though let's go a tiny bit more. I think that's our answer. Now, where do you go? Slope of the hill is more naturally more like that, right? There's, yeah, a little bit further possibly. Now, he could look anywhere. He could look out over here. Yeah, I suppose something more like that. Okay, you're right there, and enter. Okay, so where are we at? Primary school. And we're into July. Boat yard for decoration and or possibly real working fishing over here not sure yet fishing dock over here i suppose so i mean we've got the two of them just debating i don't know that i'm going to do this this uh this run over here i'm kind of questioning this thing i think this needs to be here or here no i think here We're more of a slope right over here we could do that right here and incorporate it with what's going on over here and then bridge across and do fields and, and farms and hops from these guys who are supplemental foods for these guys. I kind of like that. It kind of condenses it more. I mean, it. I don't know. It's, that just felt... I didn't know what I was going to do to satisfy that many workers out here. A farm and a couple of hops fields and it's kind of done. So, I just, 
it, it laid out well, but it just doesn't flow with the curves and with how the rest of the town is built. It's just kind of a sore thumb out there on the side. So I think that's going away. I think it's going to be recreated through here with other ones that kind of taper off around the corner and blend in as much as the slopes will let me. Nice bridge coming across that probably feeds out of the central. Probably, which means this has got to be designed first before we go there. Then it comes across into here into a more of an agriculture community, which then that also may be the road that comes across and heads up here to our church on the hill. Okay, little by little, it's it's all kind of taken shape and forming. So, yeah, I think I like that. All right, so looks like all of the orchards got employed. We're in July and there's no exclamation marks. So we're doing well there. You have got a problem with firewood? Firewood, 21,000. We're asking for 10. Now I've been told that when they make bark, which we're only asking for 2,000, they, uh, they also produce firewood out of it and or wood. So that will change how things work there um still a five here and they all need something to do that's probably part of it isn't it once this hits 18 they stop but they're all needing something to do so they start you know four of them go at the the bark all at the same time and send the the totals through the roof at you know, i know with the firewood and the wood come in at 2500 per log so it seems reasonable the bark may do that as well hmm so is it time to take this down to three since we're easily maintaining our 1718 now because they're close? It probably is. Chopping a tree, chopping a tree. So I'm not going to bug you guys. And you guys are too. So you just went away. And I'll get rid of one more. And then we'll have one team bringing them in and one person supplementing that team. And take that through probably both seasons of uh, harvest season and regular work seasons okay so cows are in the field everything got planted well the gardens out here are growing a lot of raspberries cherries okay so this got done do we want another row house at the end of this I guess I can't make that decision until these two are built. Then I can see the whole package. And then decide if we're going to try to rotate a corner around that. We could just see what that looks like. Corner and most likely a two-story. So two-story corner is there. Alignment-wise, I would love for it to pop out the front, but it's going to have to pop out the back here. Let's see. R into there and come back just a touch looks something like that well actually I don't know that puts a big old blank out here so take you around in this direction oh that's right was there something now I, oh okay the problem was the the bridge that's what it was okay so there's no problem with doing this now so you would sit there walk out that way Which, be, which should be within the courtyard or go out to a main road? The entrance on the corner. Don't know. We got this blank over here, unfortunately. I'm thinking it's a full building. I guess no matter what we do, we're going we're, we're gonna to be off. So this is the closest I can get to making them end the same size. And at least we would get a corner building built so we can see it. I don't see a point in dropping a, a corner over here. I mean, we could cancel this real quick and make room for it, but what do we think? Hmm. Let's see that from here. I guess if we're going to think about this, now's the time to do it. So that puts the door out there. Or we door over here and 
just pretend the other side doesn't look like that. I don't know. It's meant to have another you know, row house taken off at that point, since none of these really have an end cap. Huh. Do we move the school while we still can? That's the, the question, but it would kind of even us out over here a little better. And that entrance would kind of drop into the road that's forming with this, this bridge or this uh, archway. So there's justification there. Huh. Kind of like that. I like all the uneven rooftops. Looks like you know, everyone had their own plan and it just kind of builds a, a, a puzzle there. Let's move you down. I think that would be wise to do before we start building it. Um, nothing's actually started to be constructed. We'll just have to eliminate all the materials. But let's move you down. And let's move you back a little bit further. So take you back into this area. Okay. Um, yeah, that would have been the same alignment which was set to that. So that should be safe. You can go away. You now need six trees taken out. So you're not going to happen for a while. You need five trees taken out. You need 15. Five. Oh, you're the pigsty. It may be a while before they get to you. Um, you need 11 and 19. These are all the houses up there in the woods. And then all these houses that I think are not going to be anymore. So these row houses are kind of next. You are that one and you are that one. So you're the next logical one to squeeze in here somewhere. Where that somewhere is, I don't know. I'll just park it up there now so we can see it. Okay. So, figuring all this out now allows me to more easily lay out the glassworks and the pottery and the distillery and brewery and all of the central market storage area. Okay. Um, what else is going on? I'm running kind of slow today. I guess I can kick it up in the background for at least a while. So, let's go ahead and plan on that. You go away. You go away. Yeah, everything just kind of dies. The whole game freezes when it's doing that. So something has changed. Whether that's the only change, I don't know. Um, let's grab you and then toss you and then grab you. Now, I don't want to go up to a three-story here, do I? Let's see it. You know, just with the idea of... I think that's too big of a transition there. I think that's huge. Even compared to that one, it's taller than those. So that's not going to work. Okay. So back to a two-story. Right there. And rotate you to there. And set you... Now, we, we set all the f this side even. Okay. So you're there. Like that. All right, so you could actually be the next one that we put in, just so we can see a corner that much sooner. Okay, and if we do that, there could be another one right there. Everything paused again when that completed. So now when it completes something, it seems to, I don't know, just kind of pause the whole game and recalculate everything. Maybe that's a step that was missing that was causing the problems Things were not getting calculated properly. So now it's, you know, who knows how it's working under the hood right now. So into July, these are done. I don't see any fruits left here. These are about half done, a little less than half. We've got two months to do it. So everything's looking good orchard-wise now. Um, anything else going on that we left kind of hanging? We did get another round of these going. We do have 50 left, so apparently they're taking upon themselves to do some. Yeah, we're up to 30 again. All right, well, let's choose what we're going to get rid of rather than let the game choose it. Let's get rid of you, you, and that's part, that's part of the hot fix that happened. Um, hopefully that's three. I'm going to take one off. No, it was there was only one up at the top, so that should be fine. Okay, because it'll grab that one instantly sometimes and just shift the list and you won't realize it. But there was a problem with when animals that were too young were being uh, slaughtered that they weren't giving any, uh, any materials back, any you know, leathers or meats. So that was part of the hotfix to be fixed as well. And so there was still a lingering issue with the fishing docks. 
It says there were multiple issues with the cart shed system. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say we no longer have a reporting system, but it wasn't there until we actually had a uh, um, a job for them to do. So that's that was not deleted from the game to fix anything. Okay, at least not that I know of. Uh, so you back down again. Marifa is over here. Marifa, how do we interact with you? You're salt, right? Uh, right there. Yeah, you're salt. How are we doing now? Uh, we're back to 10,000. Though we haven't sold salt for quite a while. And you'll take five of it. Do we do that much? Marifa is... Mm, well, it's a somewhat long run. July. We're about to go into August. Which means most of our laborers are all going to be busy. I don't think we dare go for 5,000 salt. I don't think we can pull it off this time. Let's go for 3,000. Now, there's already 2,000 here. Let's try 4,000. That's probably the limit of what we can handle. So, deal. Uh, speed 1. Let's... I can't change you to 4,000. Without making you permanent. So, I guess in this case, I'm going to go to 4,000 and temporary. Otherwise, it will lock another 4,000 in when I'm not paying attention to it and pretty much bankrupt the rest of the town. Okay, or get close to that. Okay, so we'll just have to add salt back in here again later. Um, that's one issue with storing things in the trading post. If, unless you're dealing with, you know, strictly dealing with the numbers that you have available, you uh, it's kind of hard to quickly modify something. Um, charcoal is fine. Marifa, let's finish you up. You want to buy sunflowers, lime, dried fish, sunflower oil or town storage of 600, okay? Buckwheat town storage of 3,000 flour town storage of 300 and something. Sallow we have none, but you want to buy it. Chicken eggs, just kind of looking at this for myself. 47 chicken eggs now. Um, horse shoes, salt, iron iron, we're at 950 Wow Okay, you sell for 12, so not a whole lot. All right, everything over a thousand. We'll we'll start playing maybe with that number as a town storage parts. How are we doing? We're still in the 300s. Good flax. All right, you want to sell to us? Hemp. We have none in town. We're going to harvest some right now, though. Wheat. We've still got four over four thousand in town. Honey. We're low. We're at the end of a year. September, we're going to bring more in. Textile, we're doing great. In fact, it may be time to throw a second tailor in. We'll see. We'll go... In fact, let's pause. While it's still July, we'll go take a look at the tailor again. Broadcloth, warm clothes, horse. We're done. Okay. Tailor. Before everybody shifts, because in August, they all go away. So you are making the textiles. And you're out of hemp. You are out of hemp. So hemp is not a thing right now, but there is a lot of flax there. And a lot of flax there. So 23, 2400 flax. So between one and the other, we keep this thing going. But we are overwhelming the system here. There's 2000 there. There's 1000 there. Okay. So I think we can handle with four employees. Warm clothes are not being stored here anymore. You are here. Warm. There. So we're up to 300. That change we did caused them to start making them. So after 50, which with four workers, that's pretty quickly uh, easy to get to. They then have to shift to warm clothes. Okay. Um, you're going in back here. That's the new pigsty. Where would I put another tailor's shop? Taylor's workshop because it's right here this is where all the supplies are. Here or there. I can turn you back on now. So maybe we'll have three workers in each one. Give us six instead of four and see how that goes. I don't think we can handle eight. Um, so you could just kind of sit in like that. Or you could be straight and the pathway just works in. Or you give us a reason for this road. Kind of like that idea, too. Let's zoom in and 
give you a little bit of a straightening there. Something like that. And even with the corners right there, puts us about like so. Um, we don't have to be packed in too tight. So we can have some gaps in here. Alright, let's go with that. New tailor shop. You can move up in the order too. Because we're still cutting, well, we're cutting trees on all of those, really. So you're the fishing dock. You are a row house. Five trees, oh, was that five? Three. Three trees, two trees. Okay, move you over, get the two trees done. Fishing dock is not quite started yet, so they should be able to get the two trees done. But I think we're going to have to shift into the row house soon. Because we've got so many other trees to take down. What do the buildings need to go in? So, where was I? I was over here. We now have a solution for what's happening here. We're down to one worker for the season. Okay. You are good. That one, that one. So nothing else happening up there. Nothing else was planned over here. And we still have 7,000, 7,000. And where am I? 7,000. So we have got plenty of hay and probably full racks as well. So hay is not a problem anymore until we re-employ everybody when the cart sheds and the fishermen all come in online and add another couple fishing docks and yeah. So it's temporary. But I think the next buildings are here and once we figure out this we can start figuring out the rest of this. School went where? There you are. So the school's going to go there now. This guy's going to go in next. Okay. So we're not going to do another building off the end of this. That puts the front door right into the sand pit. So you are going to go away. Let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Um, boy, I can't click on those. Still clicking all over. There you are. What is the secret? Let me click from here in. There is no secret. I clicked through all of that area and I can't make that go. On a fence post itself? That worked. On a fence? Now it's working just great. <laughs> okay, you go away. And we froze. And every time it does that, I think, oh, that's what it did when it crashed last time. Um, grab you. And actually, you go away too. Or do you? Or do I just extend you out? Let's extend you out for now. There. And from here. What do we use for a, a pathway through here? Do we really block them all? I don't know. I mean, we can start forming our road over here. I'm going to leave it just like so. For now. It gives us the idea. Reminds us that fence is going to go through. But until this is built, I can't really tell where... Though it looks like it may... No, we got a door in here. We may yet be moving this guy. I don't know. If that door pops out here, I can't put the arch where I want to. Yeah, this fence always needs to be a little further down and then turn over. Archway. And then continue on with this front door in the corner. I hope I put the front door there. I think I did. Dropping into that archway a little bit. And out of this archway, we had talked about a little chapel. So let's play with that one real quick. That's another building. I'm trying to find buildings to get in the list while they're cutting trees. So with the shoreline aimed, too bad I can't really get into here and look out that arch. Yeah, so that was what I thought about when I, when I, you know, the idea came to me. Otherwise, we're looking at aligning like so. And sitting out here. Straight into it. I think I like it aligned with the uh, with the shore. Which is about like so. Maybe back a little bit. And aiming toward that archway. Like that. They'll turn into there. It's a lot closer than walking all the way to the church. Or even across the bridge to the uh, to the market 
area over there. I think so. You move in and you'll be in front of that. Those trees still coming down. Okay. Because if these guys aren't doing it and waiting, taking, taking. Okay. I don't know if it shifts over to let these guys work on this blueprint or if these guys are still running the show. So where are you guys going? Working, working, taking a rest. Working means you're just sitting there. So they're no longer in charge. So they got nothing to do now until the priority shifts back to here. The next one. Okay. I think I see what's going on. Um, we're in August. We are mowing down fields right now. So you are eventually going to come over and interact with this, but we don't have enough there to make that work yet. The school, which I can click all over and never find, there you are, is over there compared to there. A lot, a lot of space in between. I'm not sure what that space is going to be for, but we've got room to adapt later. Okay. So you come in like this and you come in like that. We're going to be working primarily with these guys now. So I'll rotate you like so. So if you were to, and how would I best do this? Probably visually it needs to line up with these guys. This is the prominent uh, direction that's going on in this part of the island. What I call the island. So if you're in here and the road travels ah, back there. Yeah, I want F. There you go. So the road traveling up through there hits this guy to the front door. Maybe this one just kind of ends and we kind of do a road that goes around all of this so they don't really interact. Okay, you go away. Ooh, I got it. And... Do I shorten you? Do that again. I think I need that fence gone. I think it needs to be kind of right over that first fence post. Come on now, where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh, froze. There we go. So let's put you in that roadway. So where does the road take off from here, though? Building-wise, both slopes are steep. And we really hit a hillside over here. Kind of fades right at that point. So I'd want you aligned with about here. Probably about there. And I'm thinking they're going to turn between two granaries to make that turn to go that direction that's why I'm thinking about this so a granary at this point probably in there I need to kick it back a little bit you gotta go too okay There, over, and back. You're there. And grab me another one of you. You're about there. Boy, that looks crooked now. Okay, you're there. Road turns in between. So this road is just going to hit something and stop bunch of buildings it's gonna go up and gonna go around so it's gonna be you know more of a just a meandering thing whereas this one's gonna be a primary road okay so these two go into here and they can be moved up in the list now they got trees one tree and five trees let's move the one up into there you are three trees left you are still one tree you're the chapel you're a fishing dock that isn't the highest priority Okay, and we slowed down, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so that's still Marifa? Yeah. 
How we doing as far as harvesting goes? Full roster over there. You guys only have one field left. And you got a good supply of help over there. And you always are the last ones. So we got to finish the other two, then they'll move over here. Which is why I was wondering, do I want another row house community over here if we're not going to do these? Or, although really it's close proximity to this building here that's going to help. So there and across. Hmm. I don't know. I do know this is, this is building quite fast over here. Wow, to carry a whole dock out there at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's stop thinking about that right now and let's go see what these guys have to offer. World map, and that's you guys now. Yeah. All right, you want to sell us salt and iron ore and honey and mead. Mead, we're still over 2,000, so we're fine. Window glass and dried fish. Dried fish, we're not going to... Eh. Time we get going next time, it's... Yeah, we got a whole winter to go through. All right, 600 more. And deal, get that coming in. You want to buy from us uh, sunflower oil. We've got 500. So sunflower oil, what's what's happening over there? Am I, am I at one speed? Sunflower oil is not backed up. Um... You're dumping into these two still, and we've got none and none. Sunflowers themselves. Where are you? There's nothing on the list. So how is that possible? We've managed to work our way through. All the backlog is what's going on. That's it. We've now made that end so efficient that we don't have enough sunflower to, to last a season anymore. Okay. So in that case, we take you down to one worker. All right. So now we're balancing out over there. Okay. So that's what's with the sunflower oil. And so we need to make sure not to sell below that 1,000 mark because we don't necessarily have the ability to replace it in a, as guaranteed a way as we did before. Uh, so that was sunflower oil. Flower, we're still hovering right where we need to be for ourselves. Close. Uh, we said, yeah, we were in the threes. Warm. Broad, sallow, this is what you want to buy from us. Onions aren't a thing yet, though we could get rid of the old ones. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do 300. And deal and move 300 onions into here. Where are you? Right there. And that last noise. We have another town? No, Marif is still here. Okay, so 300 and temporary you. Um, you also want carrots. We never have carrots at, at the end. They don't last long at all as far as, you know, we don't make enough of them. And apples. We've got 7,000 apples. You want 2534 deal. Apples. 25. Oh, click. 2534. And... Deal. Pause. Marifa is still here. Marifa. Any chance that you... That is you? Yeah. You do not buy apples. Okay. Now I know. So we're back to a town I can't see anymore. Let's do it from here. Right there. Okay. So you will buy apples, and you'll buy lime and beer, and you'll sell these to us. Alright, we're good. And turn you back on again to speed. This one's almost done. All these workers are going to shift over to here. And this will get done just fine. Too bad it doesn't continue to grow while you're waiting for the, uh, for the harvest to happen. Banished did that. So the longer you took to finally get it done, the more product you actually got out of the crop. It's kind of nice. Um, now that I'm running... On a faster speed, I feel stressed out. <laughs> I feel like, okay, I need to be doing something real quick because it's, it's getting away from me. There have been a few houses out over here that have been needing extra stuff. Oh, you moved in. Yeah, you weren't planted, so you're one of the new houses. Okay. 
Yeah, that's right. So you don't have your own things to... We didn't just move somebody in, did we? My message log. What? It was a fishing dock finished. And boatyard primary school has been demolished. Chapel's finished. Okay. So, yeah, you guys just need to make a bunch of trips to the market. That's all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, chapel. Little tiny chapel is done. We need to decorate this area somewhat. And I'm not in a decorating mindset right now, so I'm, I wouldn't do it justice. But we are seeing that it's being used. So it was a needed thing over here. That's good to see. I'm pretty sure that the one that we took out right here wasn't being used anymore. They were, they were preferring this one. Are they using this one? Let's give this a 20, 30 seconds. There is still a, a strong pathway in there, so they've been using it at least somewhat recently. Whether they're using it now, I don't know, but I would think this would already be fading if they had stopped using it when that church was built. Yeah. How are the roads looking over here? Got a good, strong road heading back into here now. Up into there. And around the side. It's it's starting to form. I don't think I could have gotten any further... No, that's right. I put this guy in before. Otherwise, I would have liked to have brought this fence down to here. Yeah, because there's just nowhere else around here to put a, a uh, car parking. They won't let me build it in this whole area. The slope. Okay, um, how's this guy doing? We put a little chapel in the trees over here. And good, strong road there means it's being used. Schools, we have a pupil! Hey, hey, you have got some. That's the first time a second school in this area has shown a kid. Okay, even though there are other kids that could go there. I mean, you still qualify, right? You're 13. It's 10 to 15. Ah, uh, where are you? I know it said 10 to 15. How's oh, a village house? Uh, school. There we go. 10 to 15. Now, where was it that you could choose whether or not to let kids work? I'm trying to remember. Is that in, like, the game's settings? Allow migration and manage seasonal hiring. Age breakdown. That's not something I can just choose out in here, right? Seems like I do remember making that choice when I started this series, but now I can't remember where it was I saw it. Along with that would probably be a description of the years that kids can work. Um, moving, seasonal hiring, illness... Don't get a sense of that there, and these are just buildings. So, laborers, wait a minute, laborers. Now, there's no category for laborers to explain that. Okay. And it's not just, okay. And there's no sense of town hall. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I thought there was a place to choose whether or not to allow teens to work other than this place here of who well that's a bad choice where's a a building you that's a laborer by yeah hiring children which means I, I assume that was like 15 to 18 years old I read that somewhere but now I have no idea where I read it somebody passed away and we've still got a lot of a lot of open vacancies here so we're not desperate for a, a final uh, cemetery yet. Now, what was I working on? We were checking the fields. Did you... Yeah, this this got moved a lot. So, this everybody came over here next. Okay. You're long since done. Yeah. And where am I? Around 50 minutes. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is starting to look interesting. I don't know how to really make it look great in here. I guess we could less benches and more bushes. Since we can put benches on both sides. Hmm. I'll think about that. And then as we build these out, we'll decide whether we're going to go just a little bit further or not. Is this an end or is it the three-quarter mark? 
you know, four arches to finish the whole thing. It would be nice to have one off the end just like that. So maybe it is one more building, an arch that comes around the back to hit another corner house with a, you know, a, a, uh, a door coming down into there. I don't know. We'll let that shape itself. So you two are going in. I feel like I was in the middle of something else. We did both the trades. Oh, that, that's probably what I'm thinking of. There was another bell. That's what felt incomplete. All right, so Balaklia. Now, you are a quick one, so whatever's going on, it's not going to take you long to get here, so i got to be careful with that. I'm not seeing apples. I was hoping I was going to see apples in here. So Balaklia, what do we do with you? Dirkachi is coal. Marifa is salt. Balaklia was booze? No. So cow pigs, iron, horse, sheep, lime, charcoal, nails, stone. Stone is what we do with Balaklia. Deal. Take it. Where are we at up here? 13,000. Okay. Flour, potatoes. You buy our potatoes. Okay. We always make more than we can we can eat ourselves and they rot though i think potatoes are one of the things that can go to the pigs later on so we won't be selling potatoes forever um let's keep a thousand so let's move 1600 into here deal and i need to be balaklia that's you so potatoes Right there, 1600. And temporary you. Did this get done? It pretty much. No, it was here, Marifa. All the salt is gone. Okay. Let's put salt back in at 2000. Right there. And just re replenish what was taken. Okay. Um, Balaklia, anything else? We sold you that. Sunflower oils, no. No clothes, textile, leather, metal parts, horse tack, and honey. Honey is at 1200. I'm going to leave that now. We're getting more of a population out there in the row houses, so we're going to start seeing our food taxed a little bit more now. So we're going to start saving some more of it. You two are over there. I think I want two more on the other side facing them. That seems reasonable. Which means you can go away now. Yeah, right. There you are. You can go away. Pause. Yep. Yeah. And let's grab you. And flip you around. And you do something like that. Now, does something happen in between? I don't need a, a gap for a road here. What are our roads going to do? The road's going to come up through here. And join this one and come over. And then turn and go this way. So you are certain. Or I put a third one in. We put five in here. That puts one there and one there. Plenty of room for the road. Okay, I like that. So you're here. Alignment is good. Space-wise, though. Comparable to that. Probably so. There. Gaps in between. Let's leave it. I can always fill it in with a fence. So you're there. I just realized there was a message up there that I didn't read. And I saw it subliminally. And you're going there. What was that? Child's been born. Okay. And died of old age in Malaklia. Okay. So five granaries at this point. Then there's going to be a series of, actually, there was a building that would have fit in there. It was a warehouse could have fit in there instead of putting three of those. Yeah, I could have done something like that in between the two of them and then lined them up. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do maybe three warehouses in a row back behind or off to a side or over here. Yeah, we use the warehouses to kind of bring maybe an end cap somehow so this road comes in hits buildings and works its way around so the roads don't actually look like they feed into each other they don't look like a mistake let's put it that way okay so i think this can go away then and as these buildings all start to build we should start to see 
how that all works out. So you guys, you actually don't have any trees. All right. Now, what am I seeing there? Three, two, and four. These guys will not take long. So we'll do something like this. We're getting starting to get to where these are almost too tiny to see now. You're there. So primary school we're working on. And it looks like next episode. And then this guy over here. We have plenty of bricks, plenty of wood, plenty of nails. Lime, we had 18 or 19,000 last I checked. Sand is infamous. Stone is fine. And window glass is still over 1,000. So we're, we're okay on materials. Probably for all of these. How are we doing here? I've slowed production down. No, I didn't. We're at 10,000. I think we're going to leave the production there if we get a row house in every third or fourth, fifth one. I think we'll be able to maintain bricks at that point. Okay. Okay. So that's starting to work. It is. Um, I need to see these guys built, and then we'll shoot a bridge across right in there. Stone or wood, I don't know. Stone up there around the main town, wood out over here. Kind of makes sense. Although this could be really be a major road th through here could though farming all around it though that brick one might look kind of out of place if it went into another whole series of row houses it would make sense but coming out of the woods and going into farms I think it's got to be wood over here I think stone's a little too uh, um, expensive looking for that so this one does need to be taken down and replaced soon too. Let's get a little further into these guys before we do that. A lot of construction. These take a long time to build. Okay. So these are done. Yep. That's just autumn leaves. That's not fruit. And yeah. Okay. So those are done. Fields are done. Everything's been hauled in. You're back to September. You're about to go back to one person. We've got a bunch of sunflowers to thresh yet potatoes are going away okay a lot of them should be hauled to here eventually yep yeah. and you are buying them so you are buying them potatoes 600 600 you are buying 25 34 and we're bringing in dried fish and we're selling 300 onions that's right okay and september so Theoretically, all of the, uh, here, all of the honey has come in. Well, none, actually. Child has been born. Honey up in here? None. That happens in September. Are you guys really hauling it out that fast? 1164, and in town, honey is 1164. These ladies have brought it all down here already kind of getting ready for the big October rush. So, working at one point, are the first of these ladies going to take off and start gathering? You just left. These two, who's working right now? Taking a rest, taking a rest, getting a drink of water. Okay. So, when you two get to work, you should be heading straight out to one of the other small granaries. Uh, you... That was the same one? No, you're both over there. Okay. Yep. So, October, these things start filling up. Folks start walking in here, dropping off their stuff. There we go. Just added horseradish. Everyone's selling their goods. Money is flowing. And food reserves are building. For... These guys who don't make anything. Um, need to finish this episode, but let's slow down and think about this. What do you think about the courtyard? Before I commit to this and start planting trees, I did put the walls against the building, so it's not like they're up against the fences and we've got to move them all again. Do we... Either the whole thing or just from this point right here, come down at an angle and drop the arch right here. What do you think? Do we want more of a courtyard here? 
or is there anything else you can think of that should go outside of this in this area to fill this gap that fits this I don't think there's anything that fits it so it's just going to end up being a cart shed or something it's later on this my way of guaranteeing that doesn't happen but I think this fence comes down here and then another archway at the bottom that's my thought and then I guess this one may have to stagger off to a side at a diagonal to come in under this one to leave plenty of room for this this archway or this uh, doorway to come down into an arch down here. Hmm. Diagonal or over and down? I don't know. So give me your thoughts on this area. And I do think another house over here would make this look a little better with a road coming off the end. Another archway over here. I just don't know what happens in the back because we aren't necessarily the same. I might just do this whole this whole thing for the front. And then over here would be just other stuff going on. I don't know. Anyway, I think I better call this one done here then. I don't think there's any other fires we haven't put out that we've talked about. Schools are kind of functioning now. And now since the hotfix too there wasn't anything mentioned in the hotfix about schools but it it's possible that uh, something else was causing that issue that has also been fixed and didn't realize that it was even a thing I don't know school over here just quickly I got six over here I got five or six over there and the one so when this one builds we'll see what happens over here okay so this is probably where we start next time right in there so with that, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.